So this is a new snack that Shane has been having that he absolutely loves. Um, these are actually Chloe's, yeah. and if you have a dog, you might know them as bully sticks, um, which are actually dehydrated bull penises, so they don't taste really good. No, they don't taste good at all. Which is why we have peanut butter all over the side of it. Um, but Shane has found that gnawing on these every night really helps strengthen his jaw muscles. It's been super helpful. I, many of you recently have been commenting, like, wow, his speech sounds much more clear and crisp and... His jaw sounds like it's doing really well. It is. And it's because I go through two or three of these every night while we watch our movies. It's been, I mean, I never would have expected it to be a, a bully stick, but it helps. And they're, I mean, they're not bad with peanut butter. Hi everyone, that was our bully stick joke <laughs> that Hannah and I have been trying to film without laughing for an for, hour, uh, probably an hour. At the end of this video, we are going to put bloopers of all of our mistakes, all of our bloopers. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not a big fan of bloopers, just when you get to that point, Stop the video. Oh, but they're pretty good. <laughs> they are good. But I don't want the comments that are like, oh, five minutes of bloopers? Yeah. That's a waste. I'm telling you now. Yeah. When you get there, there will be bloopers at the end. So <laughs> if you don't like bloopers, don't watch that. Yep. And let's give a special shout out to Chloe, who has been waiting one hour for this bully stick. <laughs> hey, Chloe, you want your treat? You want your treat now? Okay. Yeah. Good oh, girl, I'm giving this to on the video. After you do, can you get mine? Girl. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, good girl, Chloe. Is that a good treat? Hello there. If you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you've probably picked up the fact that I enjoy drinking beer. What you may not know is that when I'm feeling a bit fancy, I also like to dabble in wine, which is why I am so excited to now thank our sponsor of this video, Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is a wine delivery service that pairs you with a curated box of wine based on your specific taste. Now, when I first heard that, I was a little intimidated because if I'm being honest, I don't know a whole lot about wine. I know that I like Chardonnay, that's like my go-to, but like all the, I mean, there's a, about a million different types of wine out there, or so it feels, and I don't know what my styles are, but with Bright Cellars, you just complete this very simple, like not snobby quiz about your tastes, and then they figure out uh, through some kind of, you know, magical science, what types of wines you would enjoy best. They send the wine directly to your home or office so there's no more having to go to the liquor store, which right now is very helpful. Something that was really awesome was that my box of wine came with a wine education card um, that taught me about the, the style of wine I was getting, what the best things to eat with it would be, how to serve it, all kinds of information that I would have just made up had they not informed me. So that was really cool. To be honest, I've never had any of these. So I am beyond excited to try all of them and I'll let you guys know what I think. Right now, Bright Sellers is giving our followers 50% off your first box. So follow the link below, take the quiz and get started. Thank you. As always, thank you for watching our advertisements. It means a lot to us. Yeah. And it helps us continue to be able to do this. Yeah. So we appreciate it. We have a really, really exciting thing to tell all of you. Hannah. Oh my god. Is no. Is excited. Yeah. Not that one. Not no. that not that announcement yet. Not that one. But very exciting announcement. This is just as exciting, I think. Maybe. Maybe close. <laughs> Maybe not quite as exciting, but like pretty close. My appeal for the JTO arm to be covered by insurance to you jazz hands, please, has been approved! Yay! Yep. Did not expect that. No. I thought my insurance was going to say, we've reviewed it, and no. 
But they came back and they were like, oh, actually, all of these points you made yeah. make us realize that it is medically necessary. Well, and they <laughs> did say, so someone had, I think, messaged me or maybe it was a comment saying to call and ask who reviewed Shane's case that yeah. they legally have to tell you. And most of the time, it's not like a doctor or any sort of medical professional. It's just a it's little like, a, like insurance employee. Or like a high school student. Yeah, yeah. Like they hire people to just go through these things, like with absolutely no medical training or background. Yeah. And so, you know, that's why they're like, this isn't necessary. Yeah. Um, so that was going to be my next step. I was like, I'm going to call and I'm going to be like, who reviewed this? But in the appeal letter, they said that this time they sent it to a doctor and they said like what the person had a degree in, like all this stuff. And then Funny. that, that yeah. person decided that it was medical, medically necessary. Interesting. You give it to a doctor and they're like, oh, yeah, this makes sense. Um, <laughs> I'm going to thank everyone for all of your support along the way, yeah. all of your, you know, suggestions like that. Yes. We got so many people who were lawyers, like offering to uh -huh. represent me if I wanted to see them. Yeah. Um, really appreciate that. Thank you to my doctors and the people at JTO and the people at New Motion who are the supplier of the JTO arm. Everyone kind of like worked as a team to make this appeal package as strong as it could be. And yeah. I appreciate that. It yeah. was a lot. Last night, after finding out that I was approved for the JKR, arm, I laid in bed imagining when I'll have it and like what I can do with it. Yeah. I was thinking, if it's okay with you, once I get it, I would like to make you breakfast in bed oh. all by myself. Wow. I'm going to prepare a full meal, it might just be an egg out <laughs> that I stick in the toaster, <laughs> but that's going to be yeah. my first challenge. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to be able to get the lid off the Nutella, so you can just bring me a I'll jar. No Nutella, no. This is a plain egg out <laughs> that may or may not be on a plate. Uh, <laughs> it can be on a plate, and then you can bring me a jar of Nutella and a knife, or maybe a thing of maple syrup. Absolutely. Yeah. We need something that, like, I'm just thinking out loud now. Something that I, I can put like a jar in, for mm -hmm. instance, that holds the base of it. Oh, still. so you can open it? Because so, I could open it probably. Yeah. If something held the base. True. So. I'm sure if anyone has any suggestions, that'd be helpful. Otherwise, I'm <laughs> sure we can create like a little, little holder. Yeah. But once I have it, we're going to be figuring out all kinds of little adaptations like that um, yeah. to make me be as functional as they can be. And basically yeah. what I mean by that is I need to figure out how I can open a beer, pour a beer, and then put a beer in front of me and we'll fit, we'll find a way. Oh yeah? Maybe I need a tap. A permanent at home keg. We can get that. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> so I can put root beer in mine. We can get two. There we go. A root beer keg <laughs> for Hannah. <laughs> Aww. We were also talking during dinner last night about, um, this is like completely separate from the Jayco arm, we were talking about like having kids and Shane realized that when he has his arm, he can feed our baby. Yeah, that's going to be really cute. Yeah. Uh, assuming the baby's not terrified of my robot arm. It's not going to be uh, because you're going to have it from the beginning of its life. The kids in the grow up and go to school and be like, my dad's half robot. Yeah, literally. Um, yeah, but that's going to be so cool to be able to like give it but give it but it. Feels the baby. Say just it. say give the baby. Give the baby bites of food. Uh -huh. Or like a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Shane's uh -huh. thinking this baby's going to come out ready to have bites of food. <laughs> I can feed it its mush. <laughs> it's baby. <laughs> I'll hold it trough in front of its face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but anyway, we're really excited. This is super unexpected. And hopefully I'll have it before the end of the year. Um, we're ordering it right now. There is a small... Uh, a hiccup in the process. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about that? Yeah. Um, we could have the arm like brought to our house and installed on Shane's chair before Halloween. Like soon. Like yeah. Jago's totally ready to go, ready to come out here and put it on. The only problem is Shane has this mount that you know on his chair with his joystick that helps him move it, and it's on the right side of his chair, and it's in the exact spot that we need the Jayco arm to be, yeah. because if the Jayco arm is on the left side, I can't get Shane out of his chair. Yeah. And he test test drove it on the left side, which worked amazingly, yeah. but I couldn't 
I can't get him out. I'd have to live in my chair. You would have to never be taken out of your wheelchair. Well, you should now. You you meant something new or something, (laughs) but. (laughs) Um, So we're trying to figure out, we want to get a different joystick uh, one that is smaller and doesn't have to be moved, preferably if it could sit, you know, lower, like between Shane's knees and would never have to be yeah. moved for his laptop, something like that, um, or moved minimally. Yeah, so actually we have an appointment tomorrow to look at new joysticks yeah. and mounting on the solutions. Yep. So hopefully that will all get figured out. I've reached my out of pocket deductible for the year, yeah. which is a crazy fact, and I cannot believe I've paid that much in. <laughs> medical bills this year um but what that means is that if i'm able to get the joystick uh figured out this year i won't have to pay uh actually i have no idea how insurance works well you have a copay i think i won't have to pay more but i think because i'm at my out of pocket limit yeah uh, it'll just be known oh true like free but I have no idea. We'll see. And sure it's never made sense I to know. Me. It might just so. be like, because this is a slit, like, you know, a wheelchair part, a different it doesn't thing. count. Yeah, we'll get a bill for $19,000. Yeah. We'll see. Anyway. Yay. Yay. So, we don't know when we're going to get it. I mean, they're ready now, so hopefully the joystick doesn't take months, because that would be really, really annoying. Yeah, and the, the arm is improved for a year, so as long as I order it within a year... No, not a year. It was like March or something like that. Yeah, it was March. I have time, but we're trying to move fast. Yeah, so hopefully it gets figured out. Yay, 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 yay. Shane recently discovered a new snack. (laughs) This is why I don't do the jokes. Shane recently discovered a new snack that he's been (laughs) having. I can't do it. So Shane recently discovered a new snack that he's been having most nights. Um, It's (laughs) actually... We should do the first I know we should. It's actually one of Chloe's treats um, that he recently discovered can be really helpful for his jaw muscles, like not. <laughs> no. Right, here we go. So Shane recently discovered a new snack that he's actually really loving. Um, they are Clo- <laughs> They are actually Chloe's bully stick. <laughs> I think I had to the line that's dehydrated bullies. I just can't. So this is one of Shane's new snacks he's been loving. <laughs> but Shane has found that gnawing on them. <laughs> Alright, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. No, I'm so <laughs> close. If you have dogs, you might know these as bully sticks. Uh, these <laughs> I know, right here. You might know these as bully sticks. <laughs> um, and they don't taste great, but Shane has found that gnawing on them really. <laughs> so Shane has discovered a new scrumptious treat that he is obsessed with. They are so good. Mm. Mm-hmm. And this tonight is peanut butter. <laughs> this tonight we covered it in peanut butter, and these are actually Chloe's. If you have a dog, if you. If you have a dog, you might know these as bullies. <laughs> these are one of the new snacks that I've been having lately. I've been looking for ways to get more calories into my body. Um, and I just never these, and I just could not believe how delicious they were. We take one of Chloe's bully steps. <laughs> these are actually Chloe's, and if you have a dog, you might know these uh <laughs> Um, which Shane doesn't love the taste of, so we've been putting peanut butter on them and other various. <laughs> we were doing really well. They don't taste great. Shane doesn't love the flavor. Yeah, not the best flavor. Yeah, which is why we've been putting. <laughs> yeah, which is why we've been putting peanut butter on them. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, if you have a dog, you might know them as bully sticks, which are dehydrated bull. If you have a dog, you might know them as bully sticks, and they are actually dehydrated bull penises. So. <laughs> Shane, I swear to God. This is like the fortieth page. <laughs> uh, it's not funny, Shane. There we go. Come on. All right, one. I'm gonna have one. That's probably not helping. If Don't I have one in my mouth, and then you make me laugh, I will either choke uh-huh. and die, or okay. I'll spit it out. So no wine. And break my laptop. No, that's a good pressure. Oh, I you see. Know? Okay. Um, but Shane just found that chewing. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. Uh-huh. 
a lot of you have been saying that my jaw and my speech sounds like <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> a lot of you say <laughs> a lot of you not commenting that my speech sounds much clearer lately and I have to owe it to these bully strips. <laughs> Chewing a few of them every night. <laughs> a few of them. <laughs> Shane has found that gnawing on these really helps strengthen his jaw muscles. Yeah. Re recently, many of you have been commenting that my jaw, my speech sounds a lot better. And that is something that I never really expected, kind of in my lifetime, that my jaw would improve. But I owe it to, you know... <laughs> But I owe it to chewing on these bully sticks each night. So, you know, two or three during a <laughs> movie. You got it. You know, two or three during a movie. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> two or three, two or three, two or three, two or three, two or three. I guess you. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> no,